tuning in thank you for locking in thank you thank you thank you so i just wanted to introduce a new segment and basically i know you guys might be seeing me doing a lot right now and rightfully so it's my time it's my year it's my moment and i'm going to do whatever i like and i'm joking not like that but it's just why not live your life why let fear stop you why let fear take away whatever you want to do why why, why why wait for people's approval why just why anything just do what you want to do with no delays and you never know what can happen you get what I mean and just have fun with it and funny enough this one was this some this is something I was meant to start a while ago like from over two three years ago but I just I, there was no courage I kept saying I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't, I wouldn't. and then I said I kept I you know I don't know I just kept talking about it a little bit but then I just wouldn't do anything about it and then this year happened and it was like the way obviously 2020 vision hasn't happened in the way one would expect it to happen but it's happened in such a unique way in the way God has intended it to be and the vision is still alive and the vision is just more clever than ever like there's no more secrets everything is just coming to light and you know what I'm living for it like 2020 has been a mad year. It's been a mad year. It has been a corrupted year. It has been a year of re re revelations. It's just been a year of revealing. The year of just everything that's hidden coming to light. Like, the thing as well, this year has shown the power of unity, the power of using our voices, the power of not giving up. And as mad as it's been, even though it's been a fight, this year, has, this year has been a fight in so many ways. None of it is going unnoticed. None of it is going in vain. None of it is gonna go down without a fight. Like, it's just been a mad year and I would just, firstly, just love to use this, just use this moment. Even though I don't even feel like it's right to say rest in peace because many of them died, like their lives were snatched. It wasn't taken in peace, but just use this moment to just say RIP to those that died fighting for NSARS protesting like and it's mad but thankfully and thank God that these people have not died in vain as much as it's still the fight is still going and still fighting for voices to be heard and this government mad they are fighting for the future generation same way there are people that have died way before even our time that have basically fought for what we've got now a little bit like they basically did the same. It's just so crazy this year, but we still move. And it's just a year, like, I'm going to be honest. If you've had anything in your heart, the way, whatever you said you was going to start this year with, if you can, just start. Don't wait. Just have fun with it. Like, literally, just what I'm learning is with life is, you know how God says, yeah, it's actually important to be like a child, yeah? It actually is. Just have fun. Do the things that make you happy, like, and... Don't wait for anybody, don't wait for likes, don't wait for anything, just do you. Everything will come in time when you're being genuine about stuff, that is it. And so, on that note, I would love to introduce... My new segment, The Shader Box! <laughs> do you see it? TV with me, TV hashtag. So guys, yes, TV with me, she the box. Guys, this is something I've been wanting to start. Listen, I'm about my series, my movies. I am a movie series fanatic. Like, I have a way of seeing a deeper perspective and understanding the movies in such a deep way that I, I cannot understand, like, what do you mean I can understand? I can understand because I got a man of a psychologist and I got a man of a spiritualist and I got a man of a criminologist. So you put it all together, you got a film detective, you got a movie FBI, you got a movie detective, you got a movie psychoanalyzer. She the box. Guys, oh, this one is going to be fun. I'm just literally, we're going to go live sometimes. Might watch. We see season three of you is coming back. We're still gonna go back and catch up on season one and two. We're gonna dive a bit 
<laughs> deep into that one we're gonna get listen we've got so much that we're going to unpack and so many movies series and you know what you guys can even leave me your ones that you want me to talk about give you a review tell me my because you know i've got a perspective and you see, as I keep these coming, you're going to see my perspective. You're going to understand my perspective. You're going to feel it because you know what? It is unique. It is not an in the box. It's very much out the box because naturally I'm a very unconventional person. I don't, I'm not a conformist. I'm just an out of the box thinker. I don't have to think in the box. Like naturally I do not think in the box. Everything I think is always outside the box before I now come into the box sometimes. And sometimes it's as simple as thinking in the box. But my brain does the most. So, yes, as you may know, I'm going to start with one today, but it is not the main, the main, 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 but it is, it is one I'm starting with because I want to go deeper into this family and their shenanigans and everything, but I want to start with, guess what? We move this way. The Originals, baby! <laughs> Always and forever. Always and forever always and forever <laughs> basically even though i'm starting with the originals i'm not actually doing the whole like that's what i'm saying i'm gonna dive in deeper right now i just want to start with who is your who is your you see i can't even say who's your vampire because one is a hybrid and one is just a vampire but who is your person klaus or elijah are you team klaus or are you Team Elijah? Team Klaus? Team Elijah. Team Klaus? Team Elijah. Honey, I'm Team Klaus all the way to the M. All the way to the M. M. <laughs> all the way to the end. No, seriously. I'm Team Klaus all the way to the end. And you want to know why? Now, let's get into this a little bit, yeah? Let's just dive in a bit deep. Now, Klaus and Elijah, two different, two different people two different beings obviously so many people love elijah because of his suit he was just suited and he just looked clean he was just well intacted good evening i trust i need no introduction after all this was once my family home tonight i'm taking it back your privileges here have been revoked marcellus out of respect for my sister, I will grant you this one mercy. I will allow you to keep your life. However, a bit rough around the edges, not even a bit rough around the edges. Just wayward. <laughs> not that I like wayward. But now nah, let, let's take it a bit deep. Let's take it a bit deep. Yeah? Let's take it to childhood. Yeah? Klaus, yeah, if he actually watched it, was a sweet boy. Very kind of insecure about himself when he was younger from the clips that they would show. Now, children, very hot. Rebecca, Cole, be careful. Where's Niklaus? Elijah? Finn? Where's your brother? He's in the woods, mother. Hiding. What are you doing here? Father says he used to take me hunting later. But I'm no good. And his mum, obviously being a witch and obviously wanted to protect him, made turn him into vampires, whatever is that. But her being a cheater also, she has slept with a she has slept with a werewolf. So now that she's done all of this, she's now created a hybrid. But being selfish, and sometimes as parents, you don't even realise, sometimes when you're choosing to protect your child, you don't realise in that selfish way that you're doing it, you are ruining your child. And that's what happened. And Michael being the dad, Michael, you see Michael Michelson, you don't want to mess with that one. I'm going to allow when he came on the scene. For its bitch. I'll make sure to drain the rest of her right in front of your eyes. 
just before you burn. He was just on site, like no cubicle just dreaming up a voice for men, just fighting air. But he was on the side, like it wasn't a joke, like. And then that was now Klaus's father, stepfather. How, but however, Klaus didn't know that that was his stepfather. So there's Klaus when he was young as a child, looking for love, trying to get this love, searching for love in every type of way that he could, only to be denied this love for the same for a reason. The father didn't like him because that wasn't his child. He knew that he Klaus was a hybrid. But obviously he couldn't kill Klaus at the same time because of the mother. Bear stuff, do you get what I mean? And you, you, you have a person like that that grows up. Now let me tell you now, you, let's, uh, let me ask you this question, yeah? Now imagine you, yeah, trying to find love from your parents, yeah? Looking for that love. Your mum is there suppressing who you really are and not telling you the truth about who you really are. And then you have a dad that you don't know that's not your dad, that you were trying to gain love from. And he just sees you as boy. He ain't even bothered about you. He just even wants to kill you. He wants to kill you. Does that person not grow up to be a bit tapped? A bit messed up? Have a bit of trauma, but nearly didn't even have a bit of trauma. Klaus needed help, which was why he leaned on Cammy a lot more. And Cammy saw that he was a sweet person, which was why Cammy gave to him, gave him the time of... Bad time? Come here. Oh, yes. As I've recently proved disagreeable, I assume Elijah asked you here to play therapist to the savage. It's, it's quite deep. Now let's go and talk about, let's talk about Elijah. Elijah was, as much as we can say Elijah had source, he was very sourceful, he was very sourceless. He was nothing. He, let's put it this way, yeah, Elijah is, I don't know how people like Elijah, I'm not going to be, the guy was a villain, the guy was an actual villain, that his mum had to suppress his own mind so that he couldn't remember all the women and all the people he, he had killed. I fail to see your point here. I compelled Tati to forget what she saw and she did. You'd only been a vampire for a few days. You hadn't yet learned compulsion. No. And I remember that clearly. Do you? You still thought there weren't lines you wouldn't cross. People you wouldn't hurt, things you wouldn't do, but you are wrong. That is what I'm here to show you. Tatya! 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 Wait! Wait! Stay away from me. I won't hurt you. What have you become? I might have always been. I'm the one who loves you. You knew how special she was. I always thought you would protect her, that she would be your wife, that one day I might call her daughter. Instead, I didn't hurt her. You've taught yourself to hide from who and what you are for a thousand years. I did not hurt Tatia. I could not. But you did. Your mother asked for my blood. She said nothing of the dark magic that would turn you into a monster. Look at me. I'm not a monster. Beautiful boy, no more hiding. It is time now for you to remember it all. You no, know, you... I said I will not hurt you. I don't want to. Light. Run. You didn't want to hurt her. You loved her. But you couldn't fight what you had become what I had turned you into. A predator. And she became your prey. This was... I won't listen to another word. You don't have to listen, son. All you have to do is remember. You know what, his own mind couldn't even hack that he's done all of these things that, let's get real like, Elijah was the actual villain and we saw that in so many ways because where he was always on site, he was always on site, like, he was always on site, he even killed Marcellus's, Theo, that's his name, 
He killed him for no reason. Just took out my man's heart. We doubled down. I warned you. And yet still you return to the French Quarter. You're gonna kill me, Elijah. Go ahead. But then you won't know what Klaus has got going with that witch in his pocket. Oh, whatever shall I do? I suppose I could just ask him. Yeah. But make sure he tells you all about the secret meetings with the werewolves. That is, if he's still speaking to you once he learns that you killed me. Do you not know me? <laughs> <laughs> For your violation. No. No, no, no. Let's see, but Elijah, there was no mercy, no remorse, no nothing. He just did whatever he did. Whereas with Klaus, even when he did stuff, you will see that twinkle in his eyes where he felt the guilt or he felt something. Even when he had to take out his own real dad finally, because his dad knew hope was alive. We saw that pain, we saw that little twinkle and that's why it gets me mad that you people pick Elijah. Anyway, I always say, people that pick Elijah, it's because y'all are evil, deep down in your soul. Deep down in your soul, there's an evil soul somewhere and that soul com is compatible with Elijah's, that's why. Because at the end of the day, Elijah had no life. His life was basically based on classes, me classes. He if you actually, if you watch this show with me, what was the thing that they kept on saying? The two step, the one statement, this is my redemption, my redemption. Klaus was like, this is my redemption. And Elijah was like, your redemption is my redemption. So as long as you get it out, then we'll do this together and we can both leave the earth together. Pyro? You said what? You said who? That's mad. And that's exactly what happened now. He, and, but then again, you take it back to what he felt. Now, now Elijah, as a child, didn't stand up for Klaus. He saw Klaus get through all the abuse, go through all the abuse. Go, go. He saw what happened to his brother. And he can't. They all did. They all saw what happened to Klaus, which is why Rebecca and um, Elijah also had a soft spot for Klaus. Apart from Cole, Cole, Finn, they didn't even like Klaus. They didn't even have any time. But they had more of a. They kind of. Felt more, you, kind of, you kind of saw they felt more compelled to be more soft into Klaus. However, what, with, with Elijah, he took it more upon his own self, especially when, when he came up to New Orleans from season one, episode one, to fight for Klaus. To even bring Rebecca to fight for Klaus and all of these things. His life basically became about Klaus. And it only one thing only explains this. When you take it to childhood, obviously he never defended Klaus. He was probably scared being a younger sibling but being the oldest one, oh no, he was scared, innit? So he didn't defend class, he didn't do anything. So now that he's older, he just felt like, you know what, this is why he understood why class was the way class was, which was why he always wanted to be there to defend class, to show that class, you know what, forget your old family, which is mum and dad, because you know what, they kind of mess us all up. Always and forever starts with us and the sibling. I'm gonna say I want to say siblings, but more or less starts with Elijah Klaus and Rebecca, and then the rest just kind of joined in. <laughs> because really and truly, we saw always and forever with Klaus, Rebecca, and Elijah more so than any of them. I thought this lot would have learned their lesson. Well, they're not exactly renowned for their genius. So, as the ringleader of this circus, too afraid to show his face. I'm here. I'm gonna offer you one last chance to pack your stuff and get the hell out of my town. You'll allow your men to rush to their deaths again. Look around. Every vampire in the quarter is coming out. They want their city back. No surrender this time. You're gonna have to kill us all. Okay. I think I'll start with you. Fine. Come get me. If you don't kill him, I will. He's mine. This won't take long. Gentlemen. Shall we? So it was like, I don't know, but I just know that when you watch it, like when you actually take a deeper analysis of it, 
Klaus was the the way the writer wrote it, yeah, so beautiful that you think he's a villain, especially if you watched it from if you watched it from Vampire Diaries. And that guy, thank the good Lord, I didn't. Thank God I watched it from the originals. So when you watch the originals, you understand that what he's not even a bad person. Is he? The, the writer has a magnificent way of painting now these people to seem like villains, meanwhile they're not. Damon and Stefan, you would have thought Damon was the villain, meanwhile it was always Stefan. Oh, inverting that. And you remove Klaus and Elijah, you would have thought it was Klaus, but it was Elijah. Oh, the dirt in that. <laughs> but seriously guys, like, I and mean, then everybody that's even picking Elijah saying Elijah is this, Elijah is that. So who's the, who's the hybrid? And if you actually saw as well, let's even just quickly just analyze the relationship between Klaus and Elijah, yeah? Obviously, Klaus was a bit nonchalant, Elijah was this, but every... Uh, guys, 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 you just saw that Elijah basically couldn't move without his neck, which was Klaus. So he could have been the head, yeah, but Klaus was his neck. He couldn't move without a Klaus. He couldn't move without Klaus. That like, Klaus became his life, which is why when he had to go away, it was hell, but obviously it was hell for both of them because they both love each other. Like, love with them forever was deep. When they died, I cried. I cried. I cried like I needed to go to their funeral. I really cried. The originals is deep. Like it goes deep. Like from Rebecca, Marcellus. The way even Elijah took away Marcellus's friend's life, Theo's life, and you don't want to tell me. Elijah was sourceful but sourceless at the same time, man. The guy didn't have any of his life. He fell in love with his brother's mistress. Um, what else can we say about Elijah? Got Haley killed. Got Haley killed. But obviously that was when his memory got taken away from him. But still, got Haley killed. Oh. 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 is Vincent. God damn, that, that finger. If I decide I don't want to answer to number two and chain of command. I can make an example of you. And show your pack what happens when Cassie's requests are denied. Or we could start again. Vincent, <laughs> I cannot lie. When he came on scene, even when he, came, you see when you see, nah, someone uh, agree with me this year. You see when Finn, you see how Vincent played Finn, yeah, that character, who that character played Finn, and Finn was Vin, Finn was in that Vincent's body. When Finn finally came back, I didn't believe Finn anymore because I believed Vincent. Vincent owned that role and whoever that actor is, he did not come to play. He came to collect, secure and make his name known because I can remember his name because you know what he's acting. You see, I can't even lie, the actor 
acting was just so phenomenal. What when the Baba Twinlays came in? Marcel? I said get out of here. You cannot defeat me. I channel the power of an original vampire. Soon I will have all three. But first, I will take you. We are diving in deep. We've got so much to unpack, so much to talk about. And we are doing you soon. We're going to do you soon. But I just want to finish up on the originals because this isn't this, this ain't the full run. This ain't even the real. This ain't even the real deal. This right now is pick your pick your side. Klaus, Elijah. I just want y'all to pick. And after what I said, if y'all still pick Elijah, go get your bucket. I thought this was Nine Baby Show. Go get your bucket and sit on the side. Sit on the side. Sit on the side. And you, are you not forgetting that Klaus is a hybrid? And everybody can, and he can kill, he can kill Elijah in a second. And you see, there's another thing I really wanted to say as well. There was something, I can't remember who said this, but someone was getting into the fact that, um, in obviously, See, um, Vampire Diaries, Klaus is very wayward and whatever, and he tries to turn people, tries to turn Tyler into a hybrid. Now, let's be honest now. Let's obviously now, let's do the psychoanalyzation psycho about this now. Klaus has felt alone. He's been alone. He's felt like the odd one now. If you've ever felt the black, like the, like the black sheep, trust me, you will understand the feeling of the family. You might understand it to a degree actually because ain't none of us vampires or anything But you might understand it in terms of now. He's always felt isolated. He's felt like he's never fitted in so now Put it this way. There are humans. There are werewolves. There are vampires But he's a he's the only hybrid that he knew of mm, In his mind he probably just wanted to build a community where he wanted to feel appreciated where he could feel appreciated where he could be the leader you see about and that's the one thing Klaus always wanted to do take control and it kind of makes sense when you watch it because most of us even so many people that have been through situations where they've been abused or had control taken off them or even like even from your parents you grow up wanting to defy control you do not want to be controlled you do you do listen you want to even so you become that toxic person that tries to control in your relationships Every type of things you get. I mean, and that's what we kind of saw from class because you know what? His mum suppressed who he was. His dad didn't allow him to be who he, he wanted to be. Like he didn't know who he. His whole identity was messed up. So he's just had to suppress and become. Listen, yeah. <laughs> Y'all gonna understand class by the time I'm done with you guys. You guys are gonna understand class by the time I'm done with you guys. But guys, I just wanted to introduce my new segment, guys. I'm gonna be, oh boy, listen, next time I upload, we'll have a scheduled day and time for when she did cheetah box come in, but I'm not gonna lie, you see when you comes? Mm, get ready for it, because I watch, there's no coming to the test. I can finish a series in a day. In a day, in eight hours, because I am jobless like that. Even at work. Be with me. We are going to take this deep dive. We are going to take this. Like, I just want to know. If there's any shows, anything that you guys want me to do, let me know. Like, we'll talk. Even if there's one. If there's one you want me to watch right now and come back and talk to you about, guys, let me know because we're going to take this. Sometimes I find I have, I have a very obsessive personality, so when I start something, it, I just have to do it to the very end. But guys, stay tuned. We're coming out with more, with more shells. There's going to be so much more. If there's anything that you guys want me to do, I think use one, the first episode. We might do it live. We might go live for that one. I don't know, but you guys. <laughs> And then on top of that, American Horror Story, Asylum, Cover, Murder House, Apocalypse. Y'all don't even want me to have to start talking about that one because that one goes more spiritual than anything. Like that one goes with the seven deadly sins of life. That like, old oh, guy, greed, jealousy, lust. Oh, and then the, the Apocalypse was the end. Don't let me get started, don't, guys. Don't don't let me get started because when we get when I get started on my series, you're gonna actually see my obsessive personality with Sugar this and I can't wait. So, guys, this was just to introduce she the box. I know it's been quite long, but I just wanted to introduce she the box. I hope you stay tuned. I hope you like. I hope you enjoy. So make sure you just like, you comment, and you follow. Click that follow button because you know what this is a new segment we're starting. Yeah, guys, listen. My final message is listen. 
do what you want to do this year it's the last quarter i've literally just started doing what i want to do and i'm the happiest i've been this year like just don't wait for nothing you ain't gotta wait for the likes you ain't gotta wait for approval you ain't gotta wait for the opinions of people you love it you do it the people will end up loving it they just gotta see how much you love what you do for them to love it ain't nobody gonna love something on the first round you know what i mean so or at first sometimes but you know what either way you gotta do what you gotta do for you anyway you this is your life will you waste your life because of other people, <laughs> no, life is too short as well. Do what you want to do, man. Like, life is too short. So, yeah, so make sure you comment, <laughs> make sure you comment, like, and follow, and I'll go on my I got content coming on all over, everywhere, everywhere, anywhere, any day, any time, day, I got this bed. But thank you guys for tuning in. I probably appreciate you, and yeah, make sure to. Yeah, maybe just leave your comments on what you'd like me to review next, maybe what to talk about next. And I've still got my eyes, I know what I'm going to do, but if there's anything that people want me to do, or actually, or even if there's something that people want me to watch, please let me watch, please let me know, because right now I'm on Blood and Zeus, I'm watching Blood and Zeus, I might do that a little later, but right now I'm doing Blood and Zeus. So thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh,